Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Showmont. I got a review of a video that I saw, and I'm going to credit this podcast. I'd never seen it before, but it's a podcast called The All Even Podcast with Barry Grant Jr. Salute, Barry Grant Jr. I'm using your podcast. I'm going to credit you all throughout this thing. I'm going to be talking about what, you know, responding to what you said. Your link will be in the description. So, people, go subscribe to the All Even Podcast with Barry Grant Jr. This video is classic. And it's classic because, well, you watch. I'm going to play it for you. I think you're going to get a hell of a kick out of it. I promise. Share screen. Where is it? As you see, y'all got me to 4,180 subscribers. So Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So I'm going to let the cat out of the bag right now. He sent me clips of Angel Reese's game, Ugh. right? Angel Reese, she's a rookie. Her, Caitlin Clark, you know, Angel Reese is on the Chicago Sky. Caitlin Clark's on the Indiana Fever. These are the two. By the way, clearly my guy Barry Grant Jr. is a wrestling fan. Salute there, too. I'm a big WWE fan. I've got my old spinning John Cena belt. He's got the, it looks like the Intercontinental uh, Championship belt there behind him. But let me, let's continue here. And I love that, that backdrop here with the All Even Podcast. Like, I wonder how much that costs because I'd love to get that for our podcast. Although, Barry, the Shake Stadium thing, we need to replace that with Yankee Stadium. Just letting you know, bro. People that people have been talking about the entire year, right? This is what has caused ratings to increase. You know, there's new media rights deals that they're getting. All of these things are great, right? So both women should applaud themselves because they have their fan bases. They, they there's a there's a competing fan base, which is good for sports because there's competition. There's going to be a rivalry Correct. for the next Agreed. X amount of yeah. years. Cool. However, let's go ahead and get to the bare bones and get to the the nooks and crannies of the other other other. The, the actual, like, foundation of this situation. She's not very good right now. Nah. And I'm going to be honest. She's not very good right now. I have said this over and over and over and over. She's not very good right now. Her offensive game, hell, his bottom said Angel Reese is garbage. Offensively, garbage, rubbish, but let him continue. I watch a lot of basketball. I'm not a big fan of the NBA, but I watch Caitlin Clark. I watch Aja Wilson. There's a whole bunch of girls out there that can hoop, right? Juju is, is in USC. She's busting coming ass, up. Right? Yeah. I'm way up. But Angel Reese ain't good right now. No. I'm not saying that she's not going to be good a year from now. Ten Are y'all watching in the bottom left-hand corner the clips of these misses? Like, you can't make this up. This is going on right now, still. She may be the next Shamika Holesclaw or Lisa Leslie or whoever it is, right? She, she's on pass, but she's not good right now. So any Angel Reese fan that's telling me that she's on par with Caitlin Clark, you're crazy. You're crazy, and you're not watching. You're crazy, and you're not watching. Watch, the basketball watch game. Basketball. Caitlin Clark, just tonight, right? We record on a Friday night. Put up 32 points, 12 assists. She shot 57% against the Chicago Sky. Bust her ass. They bust her ass. Bust her ass. 181. They not on the same level at all. More importantly, I've seen Caitlin Clark make layups. <laughs> I've seen Caitlin Clark make layups. <laughs> Come on, folks. This is hilarious. But he's telling you the truth. Caitlin Clark is shooting over 56% from two-point range. 56%. She's 
She's a 5'11", maybe 6-foot guard. 56%. Her competition is shooting 38.3% from the field. What is what is what is Angel Reese exactly shooting right now from two? I'm not going through the five foot from the rim thing. I'm I'm not. I don't have energy for all that right now. But she's shooting 39.1% from two. Like 39.1% from two. You're six three. I'd be hard pressed to find one player in the league that's shooting 39.1% from two point range that is six foot three and plays power forward. I may have to look, but I doubt there is one. I know she's the worst finisher in the history of the WNBA right now. That's been proven. There's stats on that, on anything within three feet of the rim. Let's continue. I've seen her go to the basket and make a layup. I have yet to see Angel Reese make three layups in a row consecutively. There's a reason why she's averaging 13 points and 13 rebounds. You know why? Because she misses everything in the rim and grabs the rebound. There ain't no white girl out there that could be able to jump with her, so she get the rebound again. Yeah. And- I, 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 okay, I'm going to stop him there. He said jump with her. She can't jump, bro. She can't jump. Look at those plays. The ball gets spiked into the bottom of the rim and comes back into her hands. There's no one jumping. There's no one jumping for it. There's no one jumping for it. And most people with plenty guarding her are not white. They're black. So (laughs) it's not about jumping. I will tell you what it's also about. She has a she has this ability that actually is I would almost call a skill. She has the ability to throw her body into other people. And somehow not get called for fouls. I've watched plays where she got at, she, she missed an easy bunny, flies out of bounds, and the ball's coming down, and she dives into the player, completely dislodges the player from the play, and manages to grab the rebound. That is a loose ball foul in the most basic terms. If I'm st- if I'm standing here, and you dive into me from three feet away. And you dislodge me, and I'm about to catch the ball. That is a foul. And she does it a lot, and she gets away with it. And then she flails her body, throws her legs in the air, and manages to get fouls called on shots that have no shot and shit of going in. But that happens all the time. So I disagree with the thing about her out jumping people because I've never seen her jump two inches off the ground. Because when she tried to block Caitlin Clark's shot, she barely got off the ground. That's all it is. Clanks it off the board again. I've seen there was one time she ran to the basket, six. She threw it on the right side of the rim and it went on the it went to the middle of the backboard and went to the left side. She grabbed the rebound, shot it back on the other side, grabbed the rebound again, shot it back in the middle. She had five rebounds in a 30 second span and scored no points. Nuts. I don't want to hear nothing. When you go four for 16 and you're taking point blank range shots, yeah, you're not very good. You're not very good. Dennis Rodman never said that he was a great Dennis Rodman. We have used that term for Angel Reese so many times. And what we say about what Dennis Rodman did was he'd catch a rebound and he'd kick it back out. He would not shoot the ball, he would kick it back out. And when he did shoot the ball, he usually made it because he shot up over 50% for his career and had years where he shot in high in the high 50s, in the high 50% range. Offensive player. He was a rebounder. And he, he rebound and kick right. it out. He was the man. They got two WWE belts now. So they got the WWE championship belt there as well. He Ben Wallace, right? Maybe she needs to realize that offense ain't her game. Yeah. Stop shooting. Go get 25 rebounds. Be Draymond Green or something. Nah, bro, she can't dribble either. <laughs> Be Draymond Green. She can't dribble, my guy. Draymond Green sets up offense. She can't set any offense up. She had the ball a little bit too much, much the other day and had six turnovers. She had a one to six assist to turnover ratio. Everyone criticizes Caitlin Clark's turnovers. This girl had six turnovers and she doesn't handle the ball. You know how hard that is? 
So Draymond Green will be a big boost for her. You can't score. And the people that think that she's this, she, she's not Magic Johnson to Caitlin Clark's Larry Bird. No, it ain't. Not. That's not this type of party. She's not good. She's not. And the women that support this, right, that don't watch, shame on y'all too. Oh, well, you got to give her a chance. You don't watch the game neither. Yeah, and they the loudest ones. You don't watch the game neither. All the girls in Team USA went to the Olympics, worked out in Paris. None of y'all watched it. None of y'all watched it. And y'all mad at Caitlin Carr. Why? Because she's nice? Because she can actually play basketball? Or is it the fact that she's white? That's what it is. Boom. 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 I had a back and forth today with the sorority sister of mine who I who cost I'm not gonna name her name because she I, she probably doesn't even watch my channel. <laughs> But she has no problem going back and forth with me on Facebook. But she is one who claims to know basketball and acts like she's been watching the WNBA for 27 years, which I know is not true. Um, never saw a post of hers in the last five years on Facebook about the WNBA, not until this year. And every post has always been about Angel Reese. She had the audacity to tell me that Paige Bukers, Paige Bukers is better than Caitlin Clark. Get the fuck out of here. Paige Bukers is Paige Bukers couldn't beat Caitlin Clark in college. And Paige Bukers had a better team around her. Paige Bukers can't shoot like Caitlin. Paige Bukers can't handle like Caitlin. Paige Bukers can't facilitate like Caitlin. Paige Bukers ain't a point guard like Caitlin. Paige Bukers can't create like Caitlin. Paige Bukers can't see the court like Caitlin. Am I repeating myself yet? But when I challenge her and say if Paige, if Caitlin Clark was black, you would love her, she says, you keep challenging me on that. Yeah, I do, because I know why you don't like her. It's because she's white. Because I never heard you. Oh, then she replies with, well, I said pay, I like Paige. Well, well, why do you like Paige? Because she doesn't look really, really white? Because she kind of walks around like a, these typical, I don't want to go there, but these typical girls who like girls and has a masculine act to her and kind of carries herself like a Midwest down girl. You can take it for what you want, but she doesn't act like she's a white girl. The same reason that so many people seem to like Kelsey Plum and somehow they think she's Puerto Rican when she's not. She's a white girl from California. In fact, she's admittedly Irish. So she's as far from being Puerto Rican as it could possibly be, but she's like because it's, 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 it's she's, she has swag. And Caitlin Clark doesn't come across as someone who has swag. If Caitlin Clark was like Tyler Hero, who's from that area of the country, he's from Wisconsin, like it doesn't get any whiter than that. I mean, Iowa is pretty white, I'm sure, but I'm, cur I'm, I'm curious on that now too. Let's take a look at that. Wisconsin demographics. I have fun with stuff like this. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see here. 12.4. Sorry for the delay here, but... Uh, shit, Iowa is actually whiter than Wisconsin. <laughs> Damn, it is. Okay, my bad. I was wrong. Well, Iowa is whiter than Wisconsin. I thought Wisconsin would be whiter than Iowa because it's closer to Canada, but I'm wrong. It's actually whiter, but I guess it does get whiter than Wisconsin. Point being is that if, if Caitlin Clark carried herself like Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero thinks he's a dude with swag. And now he lives in Miami, so he thinks he's Hispanic now as well. So he carries himself with that, you know, woohoo. Caitlin Clark doesn't do that. So she comes across as a really, really, really white girl. Okay, but let's go back to it. Is 
Because that is she's white. You can't big her white up. And she got swag. You can't big her up without 20 people in your inbox and 20 people Talk on your injuries. comments. Talk about injuries. You, you, you know what I'm going to start doing? You know what I'm going to start doing? Not to cut you off. Anytime I talk highly about Caitlin Clark and somebody says Angel Reese, I'm going to post her, her box score. Her, what is this? Three for 19, 18 rebounds, and, and nine points? Get her the fuck out of here. She not good right now. I'm like, I, like I said, you people are gonna listen to one part of this because I know how you are. You're gonna hear one part. Yeah. She's not good right now. That doesn't mean. Yes, and that the exact same thing I've said right now. But I compliment other parts of her game. But they'll only hear when you say her offensive game is trash. They'll only hear that part. They're not going to hear that you said, "Well, she's a great rebounder." You, they won't hear. They won't. You won't hear that they say she has a high motor. They won't hear that you say she plays with a lot of intensity. They won't say hear any of that. They'll only hear that you called her trash offensively. That's all they hear. Same mean thing. that next year that she's not going to be able to get a coach to be able to learn how. I don't think she'll get a coach to learn how to shoot though. By the way, so I don't think that's much. I think her game is like Ben Simmons' game. She can't shoot. I lay up and finish at the rim. But right now. She's one of the worst finishers I've ever seen in basketball. I've seen Bro, she ain't the one of the worst. She's actually statistically the worst finisher in the history of the WNBA. She is the absolute worst. Statistically. I've seen kids at the high school level finish better than her. She's a grown ass woman. Take that Reese's pieces money that you're getting and go get yourself a layup coach. Go get some, somebody's failing you. Yeah. Somebody's failing you. Wow. It's horrible. And NBA 2K had the nerve to have a graphic where she's taking a step back three when they tried to step back three. (laughs) NBA 2K gave her a 90 rating and gave Caitlin Clark a 90 rating. Imagine that. I never made a video on that nonsense, but that was pretty ridiculous, don't you think? A 90 rating for Caitlin and a 90 rating for uh, Angel Reese. I would would love to know what her 2K stats are. Her her close range got to be on a 38. It got to be. Yeah. There's no way you can have a close range anywhere close to 78. It got to be about 35 or so. She can't score. Nuts. So let's stop all of this comparison shit. Yeah, that's what needs to this stop. This needs to stop right now. Caitlin Clark is here. Andrew Reese is down here in the basement. She in the basement with the dehumidifiers and the space heaters. That's where she's at. <laughs> Caitlin Clark is on, is on the super sweet level. You understand that I watched this already before, and I'm still dying when I see this again. <laughs> and I've said that as well. Caitlin Clark's up here, and everybody else is down here. It is not a competition. It's not a competition. With the nice, with the nice roses on the bed that, that, and the champagne. That's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> and Reese not there. Yeah, she can get there. She's not there right now. Oh my god. And anybody who is lying about this needs to be honest because we need to stop this. All right. Just because we're saying that her game is bad right now doesn't mean that we bashing her and she can't be good or you not supporting your own people. I'm supporting the skill. She ain't got it right now. Yeah, they, they need to stop bringing her name up when they talk Facts. about Caitlin. They when we talk stop. about Caitlin Clark, let's keep it there. If you want to comp- if you want to put in INS school with, with Caitlin Clark, if you want to put in Diana Tarazi, Asia Will. I wouldn't even put in Diana Tarazi with Caitlin Clark now. You need to, that, that She's not even on Caitlin Clark's level right now. She's not. They, nah. She's not. And Angel Wilson's a completely different position. So I'm not even – if you're going to compare Caitlin Clark to players, you compare her to people that are of her position. Ionesco is the comparison. She's better than her. Caitlin Clark's the best guard in the WNBA. Like, we need to stop it now. C- Caitlin Clark is the best guard in the WNBA. She is the most skilled player in the WNBA. She may not be the best player because she's not putting up 27 and 12 like, like uh, Asia Wilson is. But let's also look at the fact that Asia Wilson's taking 20 plus shots a game to get 40 plus points. She's not taking 14 shots. I don't think Caitlin Clark's taking 20 shots in a game all season. Real real talk. I don't think she's taking 20 shots in a game all season. And but realistically, I she's in a category amongst guards. Asia Wilson is largely considered the best player in the game right now in the league. I think that'll change soon. But right now, she's largely considered that, even though I think Caitlin Clark has far more offensive skills than Angel Wilson. Wilson, all these other good players, then we can have that count. But Angel Reese, nah. No. 
six for 19. 19 <laughs> rebounds and nine points. That's bro. Oh, man. But, yo, I, I'm telling you, I, I, all the clips that I see are misses. It's not just a box. Bro, you don't got to see clips. I've watched these games, man. You, I've seen the clips, too. I've watched the games. I watched the game that she had 22 rebounds in and watched her get four offensive rebounds in one possession that put her to that 22 rebound number mark. Like, bro, I watched it. And people are going to say, oh, she doesn't get her own rebounds off of her own shots. The ball bounced back to her four straight times. I score. Look at some of the game scripts. It's bad. It's bad. Angel Reese throw, puts up a shot. Miss rebound. rebound Angel Reese. Listen, Put another shot. Miss, miss. rebound. Yeah, Angel, Angel Reese. Reese. Like, bro. Silent Sass, you know what you're gonna have to do for this whole segment here. You got if people don't believe me, they need to see it. Yeah, they need to see it, right? They don't need to see my face. They, they just plaster it there for a good 10 seconds for people to realize what I'm actually talking about. Because people just see box scores, right? They don't see field goal percentage, they don't see none of that stuff. They see the box score: 14 points, 14 and 14 rebounds. You don't know how many shots she took to get 14 points. Sometimes you got to watch the game. Facts. Watch the games. That's it. <laughs> Again, thank you to all even for that absolutely entertaining podcast experience. Barry Grant Jr., thank you. I appreciate watching that. I enjoyed it immensely. And I will tag you on all this stuff. Folks, what are your thoughts of what Barry Grant Jr. said? Leave a comment. Leave a thought. Like the video. Go subscribe to his channel as well. Because when you pop out stuff like that, that's that's pure gold, man. That's all I got, man. Come on now. <laughs>